What's up guys, it's Josh and we're back again with another video. Today I'll be addressing the topic of SAT 2 subject tests. I know I forgot to mention subject tests in my How I Got Into Yale video, which you should go check out by the way. So I wanted to make this video today to address any of your questions. More specifically, should you take SAT subject tests? And if so, how many should you take? First of all, I wanna quickly go over my thoughts on the SAT and subject test versus the ACT. I do plan to make a full video on this topic in the future, but in my opinion, the SAT is the way to go. Subject tests can show your proficiency in a much more specific academic area than the ACT can. They also give colleges a better idea of your skill set and strengthen the academic theme of your application. I do only recommend taking subject tests in specific situations. A lot of state and local universities either don't require subject tests or state that they're optional. So if you're looking at one of these universities as your top choice, I would not waste your time with taking any subject test. Now it's a completely different story if you're looking at applying to some of the more competitive universities like Yale or any of the other Ivies, MIT, Stanford, Duke. Although some of these elite universities do state that subject tests are optional, you need to take them. Acceptance decisions for these schools are often decided on the most minute details. So you need to do anything you possibly can to strengthen your application. The admissions officers at these schools are much more likely to accept a student that took the time to study and do well on a couple subject tests over the student that was too lazy to take them at all. All right, you decided that you should take some subject tests. Now the question becomes, how many should you take? First, I have to explain how SAT subject tests are administered and how they work, because they are a lot different than the regular SAT that you're used to taking. You'll wake up on a Saturday, just like normal, and go to your usual testing site. Except this time, you'll probably be in a bigger room, normally the school, cafeteria, or gymnasium. And everyone there will have a giant, thick packet that contains every single subject test and an answer sheet with three sections. So the testing period that Saturday is divided into three parts, which means you have the opportunity to take up to as many as three SAT two subject tests. A lot of kids will come in, take the math level one subject test, and then walk out after the end of the first testing period. Don't be that guy. If you're gonna wake up at 7 a.m. on a Saturday and voluntarily go to a school, you might as well stay there for an extra hour and get in all three subject tests. Although most colleges only require you to take two, I cannot urge you enough that you need to take three. When I was signing up for my subject test, I only initially planned on taking math level two and physics. But once I found out how the subject tests actually worked, I ended up taking US history too, as I was already taking AP US history that year, so I thought I could do well on the subject test as well. I ended up getting a really good score on a test that I didn't even study for, and ended up submitting it to all of my colleges with my math and physics exam. What's the worst that can happen? You get a bad score, then you can just choose not to submit it, or even retake it if you want. In conclusion, stay there for the whole time, take three tests, you'll never know what'll happen. I hope you learned something from this rant I just went on. Um, you can check out some of my other videos here, 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 and here. I've been working really hard lately trying to put out a lot of content for you guys. If you found this video helpful or enjoyable, drop a like, and also hit that big red subscribe button. This is day 10 of my daily video challenge, and I'm still going strong. Hope you guys appreciate all the time and effort I'm putting into these videos. I've been working really hard. Let me know down in the comments what you guys thought of this video and what I should do next. As always, I'll be back tomorrow with another video. See you soon.